Hello. I've got one phone now. One of my phones got an update last night. And it won't turn on anymore. It must have been a really good update. I was hoping for an update like that myself. One day, maybe I would just wake up and not wake up. That didn't happen for me. This other phone that I have to stand and lean against this amplifier with the uh, one charger that will charge it is what I'm using. I can't move it. If I move around with it or take it away, it'll just start going dead real fast. Way faster than it should. Like it doesn't make any sense. Why would they have a phone with a fucking battery that is doing this? Nothing makes any sense. Unless, of course, it makes perfect sense. So it sits here and it's leaning up. But all the little problems, all the little aggravating things, they're not really able to aggravate me anymore. Not the same way. I like to have sounds to listen to. I like to have steady streams of information. I watch the TV. I watch the uh, mostly cowboy old TV shows because I can go in there and immediately whatever I look at shuffles right in into a weird sort of message and I've got enough of them I've got enough of them I've got enough of them for there not to be too much um, wondering could machines do that? No. No, not at all. Are there machines and AI shit creating a simulation, uh, a weird, fucked up prison world? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But you're not subject to it. You can be. But really, you're not. A lot of things that you think that you want or you want to know, you already know. You already know. You forget how to how to get that. But we're remembering. I know because I've been struggling my whole damn life to try to get or grapple something. But, I don't know, I had some sort of epiphany today. <laughs> not really, well, maybe not an epiphany. But, the final form of a thought that begins realization. Like the ladder to the light. I'm trying to put a point to it, I can't even see myself. I'm just a blob of colors. <sighs> I fell asleep earlier in the chair and I had this dream that I was on Mars and I went outside from the house that I would later see on a black and white movie called The Human Desire. It's an old movie of black and white. Real fucking interesting about people on trains. Almost like strangers on a train because of the murder. But... It made perfect sense. And some of the characters that I saw in that movie, I dreamed a couple hours before. And this has been going on for a long time, so I started to realize how to piece the shit together and make sense of it. So I go outside. Everything's red. The ground is red. The sky is red. And somebody's saying, I think it was my dad. He's like, well, we're on Mars. And I'm like, I don't think this is Mars. I'm not sure that this is Mars. 
and there was something about like some if you poured some water on that red dirt it would make like a miry sort of cinnabar looking mud and I could see some of that mud and it made me think of Georgia mud or just that red clay and then the, then the dream changed then it was like I was in a ship that the front of the ship was like the front of the train that I saw later on in the movie because I have dreams about shit before it happens before I see it you know so there you go if you that ought to tell you something but in the front of this train was I could see it like a, a city or something that was in the sky like to dock and I was talking to the people on the radio or whatever and they were telling me oh don't don't go there don't go there it's a it's a it's a hologram it's a trap or it's something like that and by that time I was already then I was like next I was walking around in this place and it was like a whole building empty except for one guy that was actually the ticket collector guy on the show I would see later on. He had like the little hat. He had some red overalls with like white. No, he might have had yellow on his. Because if you had red, everyone would wear red. And then they would have red stripes. All the people in the upper program, the mind fuck, that are mind fucking us, we're in the black and white to them. We're like the prisoners. And they're fucking with this or trying to correct their mistake. They're the following they're the fallen angels. Whatever it is. They're Lucianists, whatever they are. They're messing with our dreams. They're the gray aliens. They're not on our side. But they're the most closest spirits to us other than like what is what is natural. So be looking for that. When you see the red and white stripes. And I've been seeing them a lot like in outfits. So I've learned to discern and to look for what I'm looking for so that I can put out whatever message that I need to. I'm still sort of in the altered state because I got the stigmata in the foot. And I, I probably should have gone to the hospital. I might end up getting tetanus and dying. I'm not sure. I had a whole... It was bad. But all I have is this little slit on the bottom of my foot now. And I don't know how far deep it went in there. It went in there good enough. Went in there good. Well, way in there. It, it, it I fucked it up. I got some. Got me some. But it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's all right. I'll be all right. I'm not sure about this place. But I'm not worried about it in the same way anymore. I've been trying to find my own way forward. And I have. I have found it. And I think... Mostly, we have to learn how to remove from our experience here things that we can remove that bring us a, more of a balance of the peace. Because you don't need anything. Because you already have it. But you have to remove some excess so that you can get the balance of that piece so that you can have it in the time of the storm when it comes and you can be able to move like the hurricane does with the center of calm. It may not sound like much of a message, but it is. And that's all I got.